Okay, this is John's Tropical Garden, and I'm going to show you guys a little experiment I'm doing for this winter. See these yellow passion fruit plants right here? Actually, I uh, just dropped some seeds, a whole bunch of seeds, just in the soil down there, and these all popped up from last spring. And they have done pretty well because I know the uh, yellow Passiflora edulis variety, they're a little bit less susceptible to uh, root diseases and other diseases like that. So that's why, I believe, without any care at all, these have done fairly well. And actually, it got down to uh, 30 degrees just a couple nights ago, and these guys took it just fine uh, with no damage at all, practically just a little bit of yellowing of the leaves and that's all yeah i know 30 degrees for a completely tropical species of passion fruit that's pretty incredible but i'm guessing uh one reason why they took it really well is because they're right up against this the edge of my porch this concrete right here in the roots they can it can keep it pretty warm because i know during the day uh this will soak up heat from the sun and I'm guessing at night it will radiate out towards these plants right here. But what took a little bit of a harder hit is my pineapple plant. You can see some of the uh, fronds, whatever you call them, leaves. I call them uh, pineapple fronds. They uh, kind of died off a little bit. They're kind of yellow, but the plant is still alive. And uh, I know most people don't imagine a pineapple plant uh, surviving uh, temperatures of 30 degrees, but this one has. And it is still fine. They are on there nice and good. They're not just falling off. Actually, my tomato plant it took a harder hit uh, from the cold uh, that one night. A uh, little even harder hit than the pineapple plant did, which is pretty surprising. See, I had a lot of tomatoes that would have ripened up this from this one tomato plant. I've literally had about 200 tomatoes. It's a huge tomato plant. It's a hybrid cherry tomato plant. And my pepper plant, it actually has no damage at all. My jalapeno pepper plant, it's actually even sprouted out uh, some more shoots. And it's got a little blossom on it that is about to turn into a pepper so apparently jalapenos uh they're even hardier for the cold uh or even more cold hardy than uh tomato plants or uh, obviously pineapples and another thing of course my strawberries they did really well no damage at all to them because they're all, there's so many, I have so many strawberry plants and so many strawberries. Look at that huge strawberry. I have so many strawberries on here. They're so close in together that they're pretty much keeping each other warm. And I'm pretty sure strawberry plants are a perennial. They come back every year um, and produce just like any fruit tree would which is a big reason why I planted them in the first place. I got a huge patch of strawberries. I probably have maybe like 60 individual little strawberry plants. And I see my raspberry plant here. It took the cold pretty well. Still looking all right. I know it's going to get pretty cool tonight. I'm not exactly how sh sure uh, how cold. I think in the high 30s, maybe 38s, I'm thinking about covering uh, some of these up with a tarp. What took the biggest hit of all was my sweet potato plants. You can see all the foliage pretty much has died on them. And my fig tree just had one leaf on it that kind of changed color and fell off other than that it is doing pretty good see this leaf kind of curled up a little bit maybe from the cold with those little see those little red spots on it i think it has a little bit of blight and i've been treating that with the baking soda and uh oil formula along with the uh, dr broner south sud soap and it has been taking care of the fungi on it pretty well. 
or at least at the very least keeping it from spreading anymore see I've had a good amount of growth since spring a couple inches on this got even some more shoots and this uh, is a brown turkey fig tree it's already down to about 10 degrees Fahrenheit actually so it's actually not gonna die back until uh, or if the temperature gets that cold here at all and uh, last year it didn't it only got down to about 30 degrees last year and that is the well it got about 32 here it didn't exactly get all the way down to 30 but uh, since it's just <clears throat> just now about the start of November I'm suspecting it might be a little bit cooler this winter with my luck might get really cold and kill off all my plants and the goji berries they're looking all right too and goji berries they're super cold tolerant uh, really heat tolerant as well you can grow them in Air Phoenix Arizona without much protection I know that because they're actually from the Himalayas and of course many parts of the Himalayas it gets super cold snows all the time and these uh, goji berry plants they just spring back up year after year yeah, they're really great plants to have and the berries are really great if you dry them out uh, undried they got a really strong uh, peppery taste almost like a green pepper and I know my little pawpaw trees I planted about a month ago are doing great because they're actually cold hardy down to about negative uh, 30 degrees without uh, completely killing them off, without actually killing any of the wood on them. But, and also my purple passion fruit plants, they have been sitting out here as well. And they took the 30 degree uh, cold just fine, as you can see no damage to them so I just want to show you guys some of those plants that I'm actually growing outdoors here like the pineapple plant and to prove to many of you guys that they actually can possibly survive uh, at least through uh, some of the winter most of the winter even possibly make it to spring all the way up here to uh, zone seven as i said this is just an experiment you know i'm not expecting any of the tropical plants that i'm leaving outside in a pot or in the ground are actually going to make it all the way till spring what i'm hoping though at least that the roots will survive so they can actually spring back uh, next this coming up spring just to show many of you guys uh, that if you are you know all the way up to a uh, zone 7a where i'm at or even uh, you know if you're in zone 8 wherever you can either gr you can even grow up uh, other you know less cold hardy plants outside i'm just showing you guys that it is completely possible and uh, i will definitely be doing uh, more updates as it gets colder here on my passion fruit plants that are in the ground and my pineapple plants especially uh, to see how they're taking the cold and uh, I'm going to record the temperature or uh, whatever it gets down to and assess the damage and definitely do an update and let you guys know about that so you can try it for yourself. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching this video and just check out my next update. Thanks.